Gail Devins, and welcome to another edition of Consider It Local. Today, I'm at Eastern Community Access Television, commonly known as ECAT, and beside me is Jason Daniels, Executive Director of ECAT. Hi, Jason. Hey, Gail. So, um, thank you very much for having us here, and I'm sure everybody out there wants to know exactly what these studios are like, so if we can have a tour later, that would be great. Oh, I'd love to give you one. Really? That would be really good. And um, so I was looking over the website, and because commonly I think we think of um, ECAT as maybe just filming the basketball games and the football games and things like that, but there's so much more. And I mean, there's so many shows. I noticed that there are a series, you have a number of series going on. Yeah. So do you want to expand upon that a little bit? Uh, sure. So what ECAT does really is, is provides a public with community access programming. And we, we do, as you said, school-related rela programming for um, concerts and sporting events, but we also do government meetings. You know, we cover o o around 20, 25 municipal meetings a month. Wow, and a month? A month, You're kidding right, me. right, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, and then we, huh. uh, we work uh, with community initiated programming so uh, when people have events they want us to cover or people want to come to the studio with a band or performance oh, wow. uh, we work with them too and uh, lastly are, are some of our own creative initiatives like film festivals and oh, I've heard some, of of our, some yeah. of our animation and, and mm -hmm. video workshops we do uh, for workshops. the community as well. Oh really? So um, Let's talk about the video workshop for a little bit. Okay. So what does a video workshop entail? I mean, can just anyone come to this? Or do you have to be a member, or how does that work? Right now, uh, classes are, are open to the public. Okay. Um, a lot of times with adults uh, or small groups, we do one-on-one -on -one trainings uh, based around their schedules. Oh, okay. So yeah. uh, during some a workshop, people would learn how to use our equipment, which Essentially, it's pretty high-end video production equipment, mm -hmm. audio, microphones. Uh, we try to tailor things to what you have in mind. Oh, nice. So really service-oriented mm -hmm. learning uh, through uh, the resources at ECAT. Oh, okay. Uh, and then we also provide after-school and vacation workshops for students in middle school oh, right. and uh, work closely with the middle school and the high school on their media programs. Oh, okay. That's great because of today's day and age, I mean, it's just great. And the other thing I was thinking was if a student in high school thinks, boy, you know, I'd love to go into the media, I'd love to do that. If they were to come here and practice or do something or take a workshop, they can really understand, okay, this is what I want to do or this isn't. So yeah. I think that's fabulous. And do you have internships too, say for college students? Do some college students sometimes come? Or? Yes, yes. Oh, we, okay. uh, we've we've uh, spent the last I don't know, almost nine years since I've been here working closely with colleges. So Bridgewater State, oh. Stonehill, yep. Curry, oh, uh, wow. sometimes Dean and Emerson. Uh, students, whether it's during a semester or over the summer, will intern with us. That's excellent. That's really yeah. good. Now, you mentioned also the equipment that you have here, and of mm. course, we'll go around and have a tour. But um, it's, I've seen the equipment, and it's really impressive. Mm. So, uh, you, is it difficult to stay up on the latest and greatest equipment, and how do you, uh, how do, you do that? I mean, do you just keep researching it? or? Right, right. It's impossible to stay on top of everything when it yes. comes to technology, mm -hmm. uh, but we have a focus on broadcast equipment mm -hmm. primarily, and okay. so uh, we have Panasonic equipment, and we've sort of stayed with the Panasonic brand for a lot of our, our equipment, uh, as well as a couple other manufacturers. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a pretty strong uh, industry, like a statewide organization called Mass Access, Okay. as well as a national organization called the Alliance for Community Media. Mm -hmm. And they help us with professional development and guiding us towards some of the resources we need to, to stay on top of industry trends. Nice. That's great. And so um, now that we're talking about that, is there, um, I know that's things like um, 
Oak Saints Memorial Hall or the library, they have what's called Friends of the Library, Friends yeah. of Oak Saints Memorial Hall. Right. And these people are um, donators where they donate money. They don't necessarily receive goods for their money, mm -hmm. but do you have something like that? That's a program that we're migrating into that oh, okay. model. Um, mm -hmm. Part of our funding structure is, is, is changing. Uh, so the, our policy changes that at the federal level that then trickle down to the state level that determine how ECAT gets its funding. Okay. And so those, are, those rules are actually under revision right now oh, at the policy level. No, it's not good. It's not good? Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh. it, it may, it'll negatively affect the residents in terms of what, it, what right? perhaps ECAT can provide. You're yeah. kidding. No, no. Oh, wow. Because I know that you've been very accommodating as far as people coming in if they wanted to maybe produce their own show or have something. You've been very accommodating with mm. that. Uh, so say, say I had a... Um, some kind of show I wanted to start up. <laughs> Actually, right. we have this one. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so say I'm someone else, right. and I wanted to start up a show. What's my first step? What should I do? Well, usually people reach out to us over phone or email. Okay. Come by for a tour. I, oh, I'd like you to okay. see the facility, yep. see what we have to offer, mm -hmm. and then we do an intake session. You know, sort of what are your goals oh. for this project? What do you want to do? Do you want to just learn? Do you have a business or a cause that you want to promote? Is there an event? Uh, do you want to, or do you want to just have a show? You want to talk about something? You have an issue that you're passionate about? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we try to tailor what we do to what your interest is, what your okay. needs are. Um, try to get people to think strategically about communication okay. uh, yeah. and about this equipment. I, you know, I know people have phones in their pockets. Mm -hmm. You know, people have technology that when we were growing up was unimaginable oh, seriously. at the mm -hmm. time. Um, <laughs> but as somebody uh, recently, I, I heard people talk about uh, the, like a, a, the language of media. And so if people don't have the vocabulary to, to speak through images, to speak through media, then at some point they're not gonna know what, how to say things, how to speak in a voice so okay, they may have right. the camera, mm -hmm. they may have that phone, but hopefully we provide a deeper understanding um, and a, a way to empower people to use this equipment because yeah. media is, is all around in society mm -hmm. and it's certainly not, not going anywhere. No, definitely not. Yeah, that's great. And so when I was thinking about um, Eastern Cable, I also noticed that um, you have some old time shows on TV. Which is right. really interesting. I was flipping through the stations one day. Yeah. I said, look at that. I have not seen, I can't remember what show it was, but um, it's one of those old time shows that we grew up with. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was great seeing that. Right. So what's that all about? So one of our producers does a program called Old Time Movie Show, where they take films and television programs from the public domain. Mm -hmm. So they're, they have the rights to use this. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they, they rebroadcast it with additional commentary. Oh, so, so that's another option for huh. the community, a community member to, to utilize mm -hmm. uh, the airwaves for. Yeah, that's great, that's so great. And the thing is, is there's so much creativity out there. I mean, if you think outside the box, there's so many things, because uh, as far as your series go, there's so many different shows and series, there's talk shows, there's, I mean, there's all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I really enjoy that. Now, I also know that uh, between governmental uh, shows versus the series uh, versus educational, are those three different channels that you tune into? Right. Or is all one? No, so no, no, that's a, that's a great point. So we do administer three separate cable channels on Comcast and as well as simulcast those on Verizon. Okay. And, and those do have different uh, purposes. One is the public Access, which mm -hmm. is on Comcast 9 and Verizon 22. Okay. And then there is an educational access, the school program, which, was, which is on Comcast uh, 97 and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Verizon uh, 23. Okay. And right. then 
the government programming, which is on Comcast 98 and Verizon 24. Very good. You remembered all that? That's excellent. I don't know. Did I, get awesome. that? Did I get that right? <laughs> Sounds good. Well, they can right. just flip through and find it. So. Right, right. <laughs> but So, yeah. So, they, nice. they call it PEG, PEG for the public education and government. Oh. So, those are kind of the three pillars of, mm -hmm. of our broadcasting. Which is a lot. I mean, that covers a lot of stuff. Yeah. It, you know? we, d we do about a little over 900 hours, uh, close to 940 hours last year of a first-run original programming coming from oh, from Easton. That's a lot. Yeah, an Easton residence. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, see, see, and, and until you have a show like this where you can tune in and and hear that, you just don't know. Mm -hmm. you know sometimes you just flip by and go, oh yeah, ECAT, boop, boop, boop. But there really is quite a bit on there. It's right. Really nice. Right. And so. I mean, we broadcast on the channels all day, 24/7. But oh, that nine that 900 is re refers to like. First time original programming. So yeah, so that's wow. you know breaks up into I don't know eighteen or yeah. you know hours a week or you know some. That's a lot. Yeah. Wow. And so also so I also know that um, say someone decides not to do Verizon or Comcast and they're just um, doing whatever they're doing Hulu or whatever they're doing on yep. TV. Yeah. Yeah. So they can get. They can watch ECAT online, mm -hmm. right? So how do they go online? Is they go on the website to look at? There's the a couple of different places people can go to find us if they're a cord cutter. Yep. I guess <laughs> yeah, what, cord cutter. Is yeah. what you call them. <laughs> and we're trying to still uh, have their support and have their interest, even though they don't necessarily subsidize what we do. That really comes from the cable subscribers. Okay. Um, but we'll get you. Uh, <laughs> okay. So what we're going to try to do, what we do is we, we do offer a number of outlets for, for people like that. So you can certainly go to our website, mm -hmm. which is eastoncat.org. We have a very active uh, YouTube page and Facebook page where we put up videos almost oh, every day on really? Facebook, oh. uh, as well as um, uh, if somebody has a Roku, Roku yes, TV, yep. you yep. can search for Easton Community Access Television and there's an actual Roku channel for eCat. Really? Yes. And we, okay. yeah, and we also have a podcast that people can subscribe to on oh. iTunes or, or any other uh, podcast service. Really? Yeah. So I didn't realize that. Yeah. The so podcast. the ECAT podcast, and so nice. you you get a, a some of our government meetings, some of the mm -hmm. programs that kind of lend themselves to audio. We, you know, we do a lot with the historical society, oh, yeah. and yeah. so lectures and talks, and so you'll get nice. uh, you know different sorts of programming from that too. Yeah. And you know, I, I really appreciate what you're doing uh, for many reasons. But one reason that comes to mind is, um, say there are people that are homebound. They're elderly or they have an illness or they're homebound. They can't get out. They would right. love to go to the governmental meetings. They want to know what's going on in town. They, mm -hmm. they can actually just watch these shows and be part of the community. Right. You know, it's just amazing. It's, a, it's fantastic. And I know that... Um, at uh, one point in time, our church used to have a um, our service run on mm -hmm. the sh on the TV, and it was great yeah. because people that couldn't get to church, they're mm -hmm. right there, and they just watch. It's yeah, great. Thank you. Really I good. mean, we do feel um, we have an especially important mission for for folks like that that we provide a, really a lifeline to the community mm -hmm. for uh, for our, a segment of the population in town. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very very good, and um, also. Um, being a member of the Garden Club, um, I see Kim. Kim, you know, operates the camera and she does all the producing and all that. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. I mean, she just does such a great job as far as, you know, uh, filming the actual function and and uh, having people talk and qu answer questions about, oh, can you see this? How should I stand over here? What should I do? She right. makes it very, very easy, which is very nice. Yeah. So um, it's very good. Um, and so uh, when I'm watching the the uh, I actually have Verizon, so I watch on Channel 22. Yeah. And it's nice that um, you can see everything right there. Scroll down, okay, at 7 o'clock comes this, 8 o'clock is that. And I, it's very clear. It's not difficult to find out. Mm -hmm. But if you can't see it there, you can go, like you said, you can go online and, and see the programming on there, right, you know, what's listed by right, right, the right. TV schedule. We have our TV so. schedule on our website. That's true. Oh, yeah, okay. On yes. our website. Good. We are not part of the uh, program guide. 
like the electronic like if you okay so if you sat back on your tv and went like this it's okay i wonder what's on um ecat today mm -hmm. It's not going to show the channel, and you know how you see the channel, and then you see across at ten o'clock. Right, it doesn't right. show that. No, okay. un unfortunately, you know we've been sort of stonewalled by the cable companies Have in that really? area. I mean, we'd like nothing more than to provide that information sure. to residents. Well, why you is know, that? We'd why like is... nothing more than to be in high definition, but we can't. You know, we we um, yeah, like I said, the cable companies are are pretty firm and. And, and unfortunately blocking those kind of requests. Which, which really is unfortunate because why, you, if you think about it, I don't want to make this a, you know, an issue show, right, but right. You, know, you would think they would want this to be in HD, high definition, yeah. Yeah. so that people tune in, mm -hmm. so that they watch. I just, I don't understand that. I really I don't get right, that. Right. Are you nonprofit at all or are you mm. for profit? No, we're, we're, uh, we're uh, 501c3 really? nonprofit. Uh, okay. We have an a, a agreement with the town of Easton in terms of the services oh. that we provide. Really? And it's oh. the town of Easton that has licenses with the cable companies, oh. Comcast and Verizon. And usually okay. part of those licenses is uh, provisions and for local access. Okay. So that's how sort of the, the structure of our funding works. So you kind of go through the town mm -hmm. to get whatever it is that, you know, if you needed, if you really wanted HD, you kind of have to go through the town, then they approach the cable company? Well, yeah, mm -hmm. so, the kind of thing? yeah, so the, the, the funding, the, which is a percentage of the gross revenue that the cable companies make on the town, you know, 4% of that comes back to the town, which oh. then comes to fund us. Oh, now okay. that that so. that funding goes into a, an enterprise fund mm -hmm. for peg peg access, mm -hmm. a cable related enterprise fund, and that passes through to to ECAT. Uh, requests like the HD channel and the electronic mm -hmm. program guide mm -hmm. are negotiated uh, sort of as part of that licensing process, and so the town actually is going through a licensing process for the Comcast. Our license was. 10 years for Verizon and 10 years for Comcast, and they're up in the summer of 2019. So, oh. so we have new licenses coming okay. uh, for the town, and the town has been working hard on our behalf. Uh, so I'm grateful for the town administrator yes. and the cable yes. advisory board Definitely. that are, and the board of directors of ECAT too, that are, mm -hmm. that are really go going to bat for us and, and the, for va it. the value of the work we do. Yeah, definitely, because it really is valuable. I mean, mm. and especially, Nowadays, mm -hmm. I mean, everybody is getting their HD TV. Mm -hmm. You know, everything's in high def now, right. mostly. Yeah. And so it would be nice to, because you really do have quality programming, and to have that in HD would be uh, really, really good. Yeah, we yeah. love it. It's funny, everything we do is in HD. Yes. You know, these, these cameras are in HD. Really? The, okay. The, everything, but we broadcast in <laughs> standard definition. So, wow. so anyway, okay, I have to take a nosedive before it goes out to the. To the oh, public. that's frustrating. <laughs> it oh. is a bit frustrating, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But just know that you you really are doing a great a great thing for the community, and I know I appreciate it, and mm -hmm. and it's just nice. It's nice, and it's also nice that it is online because I can, if something's going on, and and say family members live out of state, right. they can still go online and see what's going on. Right. Which is very nice. Right. You know, so. we do archive our videos as well. Oh, okay. Uh, on a service called the the internet archive which is a special oh, yeah. website oh. for community access for everybody really mm -hmm. and i just want to mention that because you know 20 years from now 30 years from now when somebody wants to see a graduation from oh. 2007 right. 2000 <laughs> actually, sorry 2017 <laughs> right <laughs> uh, or something yep they're going to be able to find it and the reason they are is because of the yeah, work okay. of the staff here at easton community access tv really so now, so there is there a limit to how long you hang on to those archives? Well, the is Internet Archive, where, where our goal is in perpetuity, really, to, really. to keep those files. As an, or, as an entity, the Internet Archive is committed to that. Okay, so good. that's part of the reason we work with them. So YouTube isn't like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, other right, services right. Aren't, 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 don't, don't make that claim. So, so when you say it's archived, is, so is there a certain... Um, website or is there a certain area on the internet that these things are archived or is it all through 
the Eastern Cable um, website. Website. No, there's a specific site, but if you go to our website, we will point you to that There's website. a link or something. <coughs> right. Excellent. Right. Right. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think I remember seeing something on, uh, on ECAT, and I think it was the, uh, the anniversary of East End, and this was many, 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 many years ago, right? Yep. But yeah. it was great. Mm -hmm. It was great to see it. I'm like, yeah. oh, there's Uncle John. He hasn't been around in forever, you know, and there's yeah. such and such and such. It's just, it, it's really interesting. It really is. Yeah. I, I mean, I, that's one, one part of the, about the job that I love and mm -hmm. I know is to learn about a town and become involved in the town. Mm -hmm. And Easton is yeah. a great place to, to be, to work. I, I'm, Good. I'm lucky. I feel lucky that I've been able to be here in Easton. Excellent. Uh, so you mentioned you've been here for nine years. Yes. So, okay, that's that. Yeah. What's the greatest change you've seen in nine years, would you say? It, within Easton or within the Within the, the, um, this the whole, town? This, the actual cable. Okay. Yeah, you know, the station. All right. All right, because I mean, I've, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I've yeah. been here long enough to see some great things happening in, uh, Easton. in Easton, too. Yes, true. Um, but I think over the, t over the time, you know, we've really slowly built up the studio into something I think that is a, you know, a professional studio with mm -hmm. a lot of different elements that people can, can utilize, which mm -hmm. I think is, is very, very rewarding. Uh, but also to be able to see us become a trusted resource in the community, I think is, is one of the most satisfying aspects to what we've done is that mm -hmm. for people, you know, we've overcome a bit of a, a bit of a, you know, challenge of people not knowing who we are. And yeah, of course sure. there are people that don't know who we are and right. we're trying to get the word out. But for, yep. for people that do know what we, uh, what we are and we are provide really valuable services and we're getting the feedback that they value what we're doing. And so I think, Good. I think we contribute to the fabric of the town mm -hmm. and, and that's, Absolutely. and that, is I think one of the most most gratifying things to to come from nothing, mm -hmm. and to be able to provide this in you know over the past almost decade I think is yeah. well, it's pretty great. important. Now, how long has um, ECAT been around? Well, ECAT as an entity yeah. was formed in in two thousand nine. Oh, was yeah. Oh, so, so like what I, was it before that? Was this wasn't there something before that? Oh, or? sure, sure. Yeah, what was that? So there was. Uh, so before that, the cable was run f f as part of Comcast, and oh. before that, it was probably part of like either AT and T or uh, or uh, Time Warner or something. Really? And so, if if you remember, they were in the industrial park. There was a studio. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember that. Right, and it was yes. it was shared between um, the Stoughton and Easton and Avon and Raynham and uh, somebody that, else yeah. that I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was really it was a it was a staff person uh, through Comcast that was running it, oh. and so then in two thousand nine all these towns got their own license, oh. and that's when ECAT as an entity was formed. It really, the town took took control really? of their destiny with cable access oh, I see and cable saying, franchising, yeah. mm -hmm. and so that initiative on the part of the town and the and the Cable Advisory Board led to the formation of ECAT. Very interesting, because I knew it was something before ECAT, but mm. I couldn't, and I remember the industrial park right. and everything, so, I mean, it's come a long <laughs> way since that. Right, a it long has. way since like Tuesday Night Trivia and- uh, <laughs> Exactly. And, uh, but which, which everyone still, still tells me about as really? one, yeah. one, of the, yeah. one of the things they remember <laughs> and, the, and the cable yeah. auction and things like that. Oh yeah, so. the cable auction, yeah. yep. Which you still film? You still the Lions Club uh, auction, right? You yeah, that's one of that. our favorite events of the year to yeah. work with the Lions and help them with that with yeah. that coming up. Yeah, and, and what I like about that too is, um, of course, my son he's 28 now, but mm -hmm. um, when he was in Boy Scouts, yeah. he uh, the uh, ECAT allowed the Boy Scouts to run the equipment yeah. during that Lions Club auction in. It really did something for them. It really yeah. did. They loved it. They felt like they, of course, they are important, but they felt you know really important and just yeah. this is great. Look what I'm doing, and yeah. and of course they were supervised, mm -hmm. but um, just very nice. So just a very good community thing. Really, okay. really. It's a it's it is an example of a really 
great relationship between community organizations mm -hmm. and the, you know, the, the entity, the cable access, mm -hmm. uh, yep. community access, what we can provide. So yeah. I think it's a, an example of a great, great partnership. It is, because I mean, and when I think of the town of Easton, a word that comes to my mind is community. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's small enough yet large enough where you would go into the bank and they know you by name. Go into the post office and they know that, oh yeah, you know, you're on vacation, we're all set, <laughs> and don't forget this and that. I mean, right. it's such a nice community. Yeah. And then you have now ECAT that just expands upon that. It's just, it's a very nice thing to have. It, and, and you're right, it, it makes Easton uh, that much more desirable. It right. really does. Right. So Thanks. I mean, thing. we try to be a reflection of the community, so I think you are. if you see great things going on, on mm -hmm. ECAT, it's because there are great things going on in Easton. Yes, definitely. Now, um, so say we know something's going on, um, some big event, and say ECAT does not know about it. Right. What would I do to let you know that, okay, the end of March, there's this thing going on, what should I do? Do I call your phone number and just tell you about it? Or? Yeah, sure. I mean, okay. you can call us up. Uh, 508-230-7200 oh, okay, or, or shoot us an email. I'll kind of put it on below. Okay. And you know, let us know. It's pref preferably like two weeks in advance. Oh, sure. If yeah. you can, right. don't, you know, if you tell us on Thursday about an event on Saturday, eh, it might be hard. Oh, we'll do everything we can actually <laughs> try to make it work. Yep. But, you know, I can't. Uh, but if you try, if you give us some notice and the event, uh, you know, sort of follows the criteria mm -hmm. in the sense that, like, we're not going to cover somebody's wedding. You know, it's going right, to be like a exactly. community. Exactly. It has you know, to be something that everybody would be interested in, maybe, right. or a community well, event. Well, a community event. Community, community event. event, you know. Yeah. Um, okay. So, I mean, that's it, and, and we try to make sure we get it covered. Again, okay, we try, okay. to, try to emphasize the service mm -hmm. aspect of what we do. Yeah. And, of course, not there are certain things that, <clears throat> excuse me, cannot be aired. And I noticed that uh, on your policy, so that kind of explains that on your policy part of the, yes. the um, website, mm -hmm. which is good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's what they call protected free speech. So there are cer certain aspects of what we do that, that um, we, we couldn't air based on, on certain guidelines, right. but we re really emphasize the, uh, the, I don't know, the philosophy of being a content neutral organization. Okay, right. So yeah. what you have to say is what gets on the air. Yes, oh. okay, that makes sense. You know what else I like about um, ECAP is that it targets very young and mm -hmm. it targets very old. Right. Uh, like uh, Mrs. E's, uh, uh, <laughs> right? The yeah. uh, storytelling, right? Yes. That's for the very young. I think that's really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the very old, I mean, of course, the elderly would like to see anything, really, right. and so, um, but but everything, and even and now that you have the uh, the school sports, and and do you cover Stonehill College sometimes? Some of their we uh, events? we do we do we we have a partnership with Stonehill College to cover some of their the basketball games. Nice. So we do the home games for the boys and the girls. Is that right? Over the past couple of years, it's been, and again, an initiative from a community member uh, that that was oh, interested in this and really? we followed up on it and, and huh. thought uh, you know this this would be something something we could we have this the uh, capacity for that's so good and how about as far as feedback how does someone give you feedback as far as you know this show is great or the show well you know can we da, 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 da. Right. do you have like something on your website where someone can send in feedback well, yeah. we have a con you, con you can contact us through our website. Mm -hmm. You can send us a message on Facebook. You can call okay. us. Uh, you know, generally, if you know if there's a problem, let us know. Okay, uh, good. Please, we, yeah. you know, we want to be responsive. Yeah, yeah. That's or right. if you like it, contact us too. It's fine. Yeah, um, right. But, Absolutely. Uh, Encouragement know. goes a long way. Right. right. <laughs> so, how about as far as the film festival? Do you have a film festival coming up anytime soon, or? Right, so we, oh, we do a couple of film festival projects through mm -hmm. Easton. So we have in our in the springtime, we've taken over uh, a Hockamock Film Festival, which was initiated in Easton. 
okay. and has kind of branched out to the Hockamock League towns. And so we've been doing that program as an effort to engage local students and uh, bring awareness to the region about student filmmaking. Oh. And so that is happening in June. Oh, nice. So that's Good. that's our kind of our springtime film festival project. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All and right. then we've done in the late spring, beginning of summer, we've done a, a film sprint, oh, which really? is like a forty eight hour filmmaking competition. Oh really? For teams. And oh. so we've done that, which wow. is kind of a fun thing. You they do it in Boston <laughs> and, oh, and yeah. other places, but we I tried to bring it here. Mm -hmm. uh, again, actually that was based on student interest. High school, some of the OA students brought that idea to me. Interesting. And we tr and then we sort of materialized it. Uh, and then see that's great. Right. And then we're also doing a 100 second film fest. Oh, I've heard of that. You have. So oh. it's actually 100 seconds. It can't, or it can't be more than 100 seconds. Is that how it is? Or right. The, fi the films are up to 100 seconds in length. Wow. And we tr and we get a, a good chunk of local films. Yeah. Students, uh, adults, filmmakers in town and the adjacent towns and then we also oh. have films from all over the country and all over the world so it's it's a Gee, really yeah wow yeah now does someone just bring in their film I mean they, they use their own equipment to film something and they just bring it in mm -hmm. as far what on a DVD or how do they do that right. at this point it's all file based so somebody oh, okay. will send us the film oh all right that uh, makes send sense. us a link to their okay. film that's why it's so easy for somebody that lives, you know, on Elm Street or yep. somebody that lives like in Ethiopia. Like anybody can send us a link nice. to a to a film. Sure. And so and we get and it's we get the community involved in in the production of the festival as well as the production of the films. So it's oh, it's an, okay. another hopefully another opportunity for for people to kind of get get involved with media at a community level. Yeah, that's great. Uh, now I started thinking about okay, so funding, and yeah. I was thinking about um, is there an opportunity for businesses to advertise, or you're not doing advertising at this time? You know what I mean as far as paying money for mm -hmm. a commercial, right? So you're not at that point, right? Or are you? Well, part of the licensing agreement with the town is to be a non-commercial entity, oh, okay. so we don't we All don't right. accept commercials in the sense that other channels have commercials but yep. we do offer business sponsorships oh. and underwriting in the model of maybe public radio or public television if you want to think about it in those terms yeah then right. we, we okay, do right. offer right. Uh, offer opportunities for businesses to support us in a more maybe a more general sense mm -hmm. than an actual commercial Oh, okay. I see. And then maybe you put their name on a screen or something, and yes, yeah, and a name on a screen, a, 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 a logo on um, in a program or mm -hmm. on our website or something oh, like nice. that. Yeah, and I think that as the funding model evolves for 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 ECAT, that's mm -hmm. going to be something we're going to continue to to expand upon. Excellent. That's good. That's great. Wow. So, is there anything that we haven't touched upon as far as program in, um, that you'd like to touch upon? That we really <laughs> talk about. <laughs> right. Well, we talked about uh, a lot. I feel pretty good. Yeah. Um, I think I think people should know that that some of the changes at the with for our federal communications mm -hmm. level changes that may affect affect ECAT are real. Uh, and the and residents and organizations and and folks in the town government have supported us okay um, by writing letters to oh. our congress people and right? to the okay. better and i and i and i thank them all for doing that yeah um but i'm gonna we're gonna continue to keep the public informed about this good um and we're ecat's going to be evolving i think that's uh that's what people will see and what mm -hmm. people should be aware of you know, yeah. we're going to continue to evolve. Excellent. Uh, and get HD sometime. Exactly. Get some <laughs> HD. That would be Fine. so good, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, it would be oh, great. Oh, boy. Wow. So um, maybe we can take a tour, and then if things come up that, uh, that we haven't talked about, maybe we can do that. Would that work out? Sure. Sure. Great. Okay. Let's go on a tour. Well, this is the uh, big studio, or Studio A, as we call it. Okay. And so Studio A 
has two sort of two almost two fixed sets. So there's the mm -hmm. stage area that we were just at, mm -hmm. uh, where we sat down and uh, we accommodate talk shows, bands. Um, huh. We do a poetry uh, night once a month here, uh, and so there's kind of a general purpose studio space. Okay. And then over here we have a green wall, green screen. The green screen. So where you can <laughs> transport yourself anywhere in front of that screen, and we do. Um, I guess the public does programming. It, there's a little bit of creativity that you can okay. you can get involved with the studio here. So uh, the green screen is like a, um, when you watch the weather on TV. They're actually not pointing to what they see is mm. the weather map. They they actually see nothing at all. Right. But we see a map. So I heard is it true that you're not supposed to wear green in front of the green screen because then you may not see correct, you or something. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Yeah, the reason they have it as this funky color green is because yeah. generally you don't see that green. And, and the computer, the technology takes that color, pulls it out, and reveals whatever you want underneath it. So, is that right? Yeah, so oh, it's, a, it's actually a pretty, pretty old technology, but yeah. it's, a, it's still extremely popular, as you can tell. So it's part of the magic, I suppose. Nice. Part of, part of TV. I like it. Yeah. It's like a little news station here. Correct. We got a new <laughs> station. Uh, we good. have um, we have three cameras. Oh, those uh, are heavy duty. Those yeah, are nice. heavy duty cameras, and uh, wow. uh, it's Beautiful. closed right now. But we have a teleprompter, so folks oh, can read off of a prompter. Is that want. right? Yeah, th nice. that generally is. Some people love it actually. Some people yeah. love using the prompter, mm -hmm. and it provides a professional look to something. If somebody wants to, has something like really important to say, and they want to get it right yeah. verbatim, the yeah. prompter is the way to go. Nice. Uh, yeah. That's great. Wow. Well, it's very impressive. Uh, yeah. We have our lighting grid. You can sort of see the lights mm -hmm. uh, as yep. well. And yep. Huh. Wow. So if you wanted to have your own show, could you bring your own backdrop behind the chair? Sure. Sure. Oh, okay. There's an elevator in the building. So people can wheel in whatever they want when there's a band that brings in a whole set they can do whatever whatever you want. Excellent. Really, in the, it's in good the to know. Yeah. That's really good to know. Wow. And all you have to do is call that number or email, and I have this idea, and see what happens, right? Yeah, we can get something set up for you. Excellent. That's yeah. so good. So it doesn't have to be a series. It can be a, a one-show thing, maybe? Would you do a one-show Totally, thing? totally. Oh, it's OK. A, that's a, it's a huge commitment to do a series. Yes. But if, uh, but if you have a group like a a community group, a group mm -hmm. of kids, and you want to do oh. something together. Yeah. This is a f this is a fun and uh, team building, rewarding experience yes. where people can work together to, yep. to make something special. Oh yeah, yeah, that's great. I think that's and so say there's something around the holidays, you mm -hmm. know, some little special thing that these kids are doing. They can yeah. come and you know if they want to do it in the studio. Sure, sure. All right. Yeah, that's great to know. Um, as far as um, you also mentioned working with the colleges, correct. So Stonehill and uh, Bridgewater, okay, Bridgewater, Curry. Curry, and then of course with OA, mm -hmm. we work closely and take in interns from the high school as well and Southeastern too. We're involved in their co-op program. And Southeastern Regional. Yeah, Southeastern really? Regional. Yeah. Oh, so, that's good to know. Yeah, and we've done a wow. lot of work with uh, with students that have. Uh, Different learning abilities and styles. Uh, some okay. of the, some uh, some um, students that have some you know different needs when they're for learning mm -hmm. actually find that working with technology and computers is a great way for them to build skills. And so Interesting. We, wow. I think we find a, a nice niche with some of the students uh, to provide uh, workforce you know skills mm -hmm. for students that may not be able to get that out of a, a big classroom or can't, oh, can't afford yeah. to go to college yep. or, or something like that. Oh, that's excellent. That yeah. is so good. It gives them that self-esteem, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Well, this is impressive. So this window over here, mm -hmm. we have the, uh, what's in there? So that is what we call the control room. So okay. for all the, all the video equipment that we just described in this room, it is actually controlled through the glass on the oh, other side. Oh, so very we, good. We can go touch upon that. Let's too. do that. Is okay. that soundproof? 
It oh, is so They can hear not, us, but we can't hear us. It's, it's not quite soundproof, soundproof. but it's, uh, you know, 75%. Or so that's enough. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, impressive. So this is the uh, studio control room. Impressive. Yeah, again, impressive. So this is where we uh, sort of run the the, the room uh, through the glass over here. Wow. And it may look daunting. There's a lot of equipment in here. A lot of buttons. A lot of buttons. You know. <laughs> I suppose on a number of levels, community access can push buttons. <laughs> um, Very good. <laughs> but we we provide the training for a room like this too. So nice. If you wouldn't, we would never expect you to come in here and know mm -hmm. what you're doing. Yeah. Um, but we we sit with you, we mentor you, uh, we teach you, and 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 give you a chance to do this. And a lot of people uh, find it kind of actually kind of fun after a while. Sure. Uh, yeah. And exciting. Yeah. Um, but we help you, uh, everything in here. So uh, again, this room is high definition. Uh, mm -hmm. You can pull in video from around the community in a mm -hmm. live situation in this room. Oh, live? Yeah. You can actually do live things? Yes. Really? We, do, we can do live programming. Oh. Um, not just for government meetings, which we do, but uh, we can do live for, for other things as well. Wow, I didn't even uh, think of that. That's yeah. great. And you can pull in video off the internet uh, as well okay. as live from the community, mm -hmm. um, all through this kind of this space in here. Yeah. So. Wow, I think mm. that, that's fantastic. Huh. Very impressive. I love it. All right. <laughs> wow, this is cool. So yeah. this is your small studio? This is our is small is? studio. Okay. Uh, we call it, kind of call it like a podcasting studio. So oh. for people that are interested in, in doing a podcast, an audio program, wow. this room is available to the public as well. Wow. And again, another room where we provide all the training, mm -hmm. teach you how to do it, or if okay. you want to come in and just do, you know, get your message out, we can kind of work with you on that one-time oh, program, okay. program yeah. too. All right, good, good. Yeah. And so, I mean, I feel like it's almost a, a radio station or something with all the right the mics and everything. Wow. Right. Well, it's very focused it's on something. audio. Okay. Um, and trying to keep it more of a casual conversation. Uh, in okay. Here, yeah. where the studio is like a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, and I think some people kind of like this sort of space um, yes. as yep. well. Mm -hmm. And with the, uh, I don't know, preponderance of podcasts yeah we you know i think we provide a very unique space for people to come in yeah, that's and, nice. and utilize businesses organizations mm -hmm. individuals students can all come in here and use this space and so the podcasts then go on ecat and right that's how on the uh, website though right well no. they go they go on the website and and these little 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 Signals right here are actually cameras. Are so really? you kind of you kind of come wow. in here and you you record something on audio, but it actually records a video too. So Interesting. so we, you come in, you may walk away with a podcast. We may put an audio recording up on our website. Yeah. But we also have the dual purpose of getting just in it case. No, no, not right? just oh, in case, but trying to get it on the channel as well. So we. Oh, so it's so. on iTunes. Right, so if you're doing programming in here, you may you can walk away with it. It'll also be available on iTunes wow. for people uh, as well as the channel and our website. So oh, you know, wow. we, we kind of want to be a distribution platform for the community. On top, Makes sense. On top of what else? On top of just cable. Yeah. Fantastic. I am impressed. I like it. So uh, this is this is the. the a master control room. So oh, wow. this is the place where we actually connect to Verizon and Comcast. Really? Where, where we wow. actually we hand we hand off the program oh. to them. Yeah. yeah. You know, so okay. we have we have some special dedicated servers, uh, and and we can then connect yeah. to, to their equipment wow. over here and wow. up in the corner through those orange tubes. Yeah. That's where it goes to Com the Comcast and Verizon. And, really? And Wow. And then that handoff happens, and then it comes back to the residents. Is that right? Yes. Isn't that interesting? Right. And so. So here you have Comcast. Comcast. Horizon. Right. So we've huh. got the public channel, our government channel, and the education channel, as I said. Oh, the, right. Yep. The three channels. And so 
probably pretty good examples of, of what's happening yeah. on on every channel at any huh. on any given day. So wow, yeah, wow, it's interesting. And then our, actually our fourth channel. I don't think I mentioned this enough. Is that we actually have a live stream on the channel as well. So a live stream. If people want to tune into like live meetings on our website, yeah, they can't make the they can't make for the whatever meeting. reason. They're in their car. Yes, they're right. at work. Mm -hmm. They don't have cable. You can watch on EastingCat.org. We have a live page, wow. so you can watch on there as well. Wow, that's so. fantastic. Yeah, that is amazing. Wow, fantastic! You have really good technology here. Yes, really amazing. Yeah, that's our focus, yeah. and we have a lot of smart people in the community that actually provide us with some some pro bono assistance. Uh, very dedicated oh, yeah. board of directors. Nice. Uh, the, the folks at the town. And the schools who are in the technology departments have been helpful as Good. well, and uh, a very educated staff. Excellent. So it's a, a real team effort to keep this up and running. So that's the thing, it's a team effort, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Wow, very impressive. Now, do you, um, do you give tours at all, or is that... Oh. Um, of course. Yeah, so people can come and just tour, just to tour, like without yeah. any reason. Just yeah, if you more. want to come by for a half an hour or something, just to sort of see what it's about. Yeah. I mean, we're across the street from the Governor Ames Estate. Yeah. We're around the corner from the library. Yeah. We're happy to give you a tour anytime. Nice. Uh, and how about if they just wanted to see how a show is done? Can they come and watch a show, or is that kind of private? I mean, Let's we could die. Uh, generally, it's, it's public. Uh, yeah. I mean, it might, again, we might want to do it on a on a basis of like, hey, you want to come in? Well, let's let's figure out a time that would work for you. Okay, and, gotcha. ma and make right. it happen. Yeah, All right. sounds good. We have a couple of standing shows weekly during the day, mm -hmm. but if we try to fit your schedule, like as always. Okay, great. All right, so. Oh, what's we, this? So this this room is our uh, an animation suite. Uh, we have two rooms. Mm -hmm. That are that are that have a lot of software and technology that people can learn on, and utilize. And what we've done over the past couple of years is is tailor those rooms to specific purposes. Okay. So, this room here is for is for students or anyone in the public that is interested in animation. So we have some specific software that oh. people we can teach you how to use to learn really? that really? and create things for the channel and create things for wow. yourself. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought of um, part of it being the animation part. Right, that's right. right. Yeah, so I mean, so we have our computer, mm -hmm. uh, we have our software, so this okay. is like a, like a big tablet, so people can kind of use wow, it to, to draw on it. Yeah, yeah. And things like that. So, huh. yeah, so it's, it's pretty neat. Um, but it's not just needed, it actually provides people with, I think, something that they can't get at home, a, a, different, yes, okay. a different learning opportunity for yep. folks. And I think yep. that's part of what we want to try to try to show okay. and demonstrate and offer. Uh, because again, people do have things in their pocket. They can, they can go ahead and you come here and get support, you know, one-on-one -on -one sort of training and mentoring on how to use this equipment, oh, uh, and then okay. go home and, and sort of create um, you know, something that they want with their family or, um, you know, Very something good. like that. So, yeah. So Impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Try to do something on the spot. I Very don't know. Good. So, um, uh, training, though, you mentioned training. So, people yeah. can come in and just get trained on things. Correct. That's why. Correct. It's like a, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, group small group, group kind, of, yeah. kind of training. Excellent. Yeah. That's excellent. Wow. We do have a, a oh, partnership with the this. Eastern Shoveltown Cultural District oh, to really? have a gallery here as well. So if nice. you come by, you'll generally see, every month you'll see different artwork on the walls oh, these are from amazing. local artists wow. and photographers. And yep, yep. We even have sculpture from time to time. Really? And you yeah. can purchase these? Yes. These are for sale directly from the artist. Uh, oh, And these are lo local and regional Artists. Wow, wow. Local and regional. Yeah, yeah. well, regional, I yeah. suppose, adjacent communities. Sure, right, yeah, really. right. But you know. these are really something else. Just yeah. to come in and look at this is worth it. Yeah, this is a, wow. just a sort of, again, emphasizing that we have a creative environment here. And, yes. Yeah. Um, so, as I mentioned, we have 
two, two suites for video editing. Oh, this one is okay. focused on video editing okay. as well as uh, preservation and archiving. Okay. So if people have old films, old yeah. tapes, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that DVDs do? that they need, they need or want to get transferred, mm -hmm. uh, they want to edit together, this is the room that can help them do that. Is so, that right? So yeah. you can just come in and do that? Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. Isn't that? Yeah. That is great. It is. Yeah. It's great. Thanks. Look at all this equipment. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, so, I, so part, a, a big chunk of, of what, we're, what we offer the community and what we use ourselves are what we call field equipment. So equipment that okay. we teach you how to use. You get, kind of, you get certified in using it and then oh, really? you can take it out yourself. We loan it out to you to really? produce programming wow. on your own. Interesting. So again, wow. this is based, This is cameras and tripods and lights and recording oh, equipment. Oh, lights too, huh? Lights as wow. well, yeah. Wireless microphones. Again, it's it's really something that you can take out and record things that are that are important to you or your group or, or your family, your community. Uh, Is it difficult to use? Is it easy to learn? I suppose it depends on the person. <laughs> yes, you know? true. But, right, uh, right. But yeah, again, this is like a you know professional 4K camera. Nice. And and wow. and if it takes an it takes an hour or it takes two hours, three hours, you know, we just want you to be comfortable using the equipment, learning how to again develop that visual vocabulary. Okay. Um, yeah. And and using the equipment for um, again what you need your your goals and purposes. Oh, okay. So. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. yeah. A lot of buttons. A lot of buttons. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, all right. That's so nice that you can go out and do your own filming kind of a thing. Correct. But it will go on the cat. It will um, go on our channels thing. Right. as well. Yeah. Yep. You know, just go out and film the birthday party. and. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah we don't. For this, right? <laughs> all right. Okay. If that's not clear, yes. Don't, yeah. go, don't go out this and film your communion or bat mitzvah. Right. Or, you know, <laughs> stop, stop with that. So. <laughs> One of the newest resources we have for ECAT, for the community, is our production van. So I wanted to show you that uh, today as well. Yeah, let's All see right. it. So this is a nice. mobile TV studio, so it allows us to bring a television studio anywhere in the community. You know, like from the middle of Borderland to uh, Wheaton Farm to uh, the high school, any, anywhere. Really? Really in town. Yeah, we can broadcast a program from from anywhere really okay so this this you can actually broadcast from this vehicle right so it's like a little studio on wheels or something it's a, right? it, that's exactly what it is a stu <laughs> studio oh, on wheels it's impressive yeah. that so, is impressive I like it yeah Wow. so we work best when we have a t we can work with some vo some people in the community it did it does take it it is a team effort so oh, okay uh, for, for productions like this to work with the community, we have staff that'll again train and, and and work with folks, but we always have staff go out with our with our van productions and lead them. Oh, we, okay, we just work good. with the community, hopefully to to uh, to do these unique programs. Yeah, yeah, very unique too. I mean, that's just <laughs> wow, it's impressive. So it's like on the inside of it. All can right, you, can we take a peek? Yeah, let's take a peek. Yeah, sort of see some of the equipment. Yeah, at rest. <laughs> we're, not, we're not plugged in or anything. But, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. But wow, uh, look at that! But the, the equipment that's inside <gasps> here, wow. a lot of it mirrors the equipment that we have in our in that bigger studio I okay, showed yeah, you. So yeah. again, we have the capability for three cameras and a communication system wow. with and graphics. And graphics too. Graphics mm. too. Sure. Sure. Shh. And again, we have the capability to broadcast it back to uh, back to ECAT. Nice. Stream it on the web anywhere. So. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that, yeah. That yeah. is impressive. Yeah. Wow. Right. I and like it. Thanks. And this is for the town. This is for this is for for the residents. Yeah. Uh, and groups and organizations mm -hmm. to take advantage of. And I and and I would love to get the word out more to the Eastern residents about mm -hmm. that because. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many things going on in the town. Right. Yeah, and, and it's just, it really is a good thing. It's mm -hmm. great. Okay. Another thing that makes Easton great. I hope so. <laughs> I certainly think so. Yeah, thank you. That's great. All right, Gail.
Wow, that was very, very informative. Thank you very much. I love it in here. Right. And um, I do encourage people to please take the tour. It's amazing. And you may have some ideas for a show or something like that, but do tune in because it really, they do have an awful lot to show and everything. It's, it's very good. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks, Gail. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Take care. You too. And we will see you next time on another show of Consider It Local.